Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Indigo Tech Tutorials. If you're new here, please press that like button and subscribe to the channel. It'll help me out a ton so I can keep creating these awesome videos. So in this video, I'm going to be attempting to do as many coding challenges as I can. And the difference here for my other coding challenges video is I'm going to be asking ChatGPT to give me coding challenges. And then I'll just see if I can complete them. I'm going to be using Ruby for this too. Because I feel like Ruby is my strongest language. It's going to be pretty exciting to see what ChatGPT can come up with. And I'm just curious, is it going to be hard? Is it going to be easy? So let's see. So to start it off, I'm just going to go to ChatGPT.com. And I'm going to ask for some coding challenges. Can you please give me some coding challenge? Or actually, can you give me a coding challenge? Because I guess I just want one. All right, let's see what it says. So the problem is word ladder. And they say, given two words, begin word and end word, and a dictionary word list. Find the length of the shortest transformation sequence from begin word to end word, such that only one letter can be changed at a time. Each transformed word must exist in the word list. What the heck? That's, that's kind of crazy. Turn zero if there's no such transformation sequence. All words have the same length. What the heck? So they have a begin word is hit, end word is cog. That's one shortest transformation is hit, hot, dot, dog. That's crazy. Wait, I don't even know what this means. Sample test case. They really gave me like a full Python coding challenge. This looks kind of hard. I'm going to ask for, like, can you give me a, can you give me a more simple challenge? So that one just, I don't even know what they're saying. Like, they want me to transfer, transform from one word to another. But that doesn't even make sense. Like, begin word, end word. And then it says it's supposed to output five. I'm not sure why. So let's see what their other one is. Okay, here's a simpler coding challenge for you. Reverse a string. So write a function that takes a string as input and returns the string reversed. Okay, that should be pretty easy. Now to test this, we're gonna need a Ruby environment. So I guess I'll just go right to Ubuntu. And I'm going to make a new directory. I'll just call it ChatGPT challenges. I'm going to cd into it and then I'll just open this inside of, I guess I can just say code dot to open up in VS Code. Inside of VS Code I'm going to create my new file. It's going to be reverse string.rb. be my Ruby file. And then inside of here, I can do my logic. And then whenever I want to run it, I can just do it from this Ubuntu shell. So if I ls now, we should see that we have the file. And we can run it simply by just doing a Ruby and then the file name. So the first thing we can do is just put a comment. Say like, hello from file. And then when we go back in the terminal and run our file, we'll see that we get this nice printing out to the console, which is kind of fun. One thing I wanted to do before was figure out how to do like printing cool messages to the console. Kind of want to look into that real quick. Like print console art Ruby. Want to figure out how I could do that. Yeah, like something like this. Like how all these people have their own thing. So I guess you can do something like banner equals. And print the whole thing, then you gsub. Okay, I see, I see. So we could actually just print it out just like this. <clears throat> Let's see if we can find an ASCII art generator. We totally can. I can just say like coding challenge. And you can change the different fonts. Hey, I like this. This is cool. 
Now the one they had for the once book looked really cool. That's where I was kind of inspired to do this from. I don't know if we can find one that cool. Uh, all of these are just hard to read. All right, maybe we'll go back to the first ones that we had because those are pretty easy. They're actually working. Right, I swear, I, I swear, I saw some some better ones at first. Maybe we'll try a different website. Wait, not image. I want to do text. Coding challenge. Yeah, I guess that's just how it would show up. It's cool, anyways. This would be a coding challenge by itself, is just to try to like recreate this with code. Oh wow, that's insane. Alright, we could do a simple one like this. So I guess you just copy the whole thing. And then we can, I think we just put that. You can do a multi-line comment by using the back tick, I'm pretty sure. Or like a multi-line string, I guess is what I was meaning. I don't know, or you, I, can't you just do multi-line strings with double quotes? In Ruby, I'm pretty sure you can. On that example, yeah, you can use you can do multi-line strings with uh, double quotes. Let's see if it works. So, so let's try to run our file again. And we do get the words, but it doesn't look as cool as the one they had in the once book. They had like a more advanced text. Yeah, it's whatever. All right, now I'm going to try to do this coding challenge. So we're going to write the code inside of here. So let's just make a method reverse string. We're just going to expect a string. And we can test it down at the bottom by just like putting the result. So our string could be coffee. We're going to expect it to return basically a reversed version of this which right now it doesn't return anything so if we were to start with just like a string and then we add the text reverse to it that would be our first answer which obviously this wouldn't be right so actually we can do our own test case in here so we can say if this is equal to I don't even know how you do this backwards. I think that should be right. Yeah, that looks reversed. We can say that's passed. Else puts. Okay, I did it wrong. Puts test failed. All right, so now we can kind of test this. So yeah, as you can see, the test failed. This was not right. So let's try to make this pass. So we can take the string. What I'm thinking is we can break it into the characters, so chars. Then we can loop through each character. We do like a each do character. And then we could almost save it into another string. We could have like, call it our string equals empty string at first. And then as we go through, we would I think we would push because if you append it adds it after so you'd want to almost push which means you do our string how do you add to the beginning of a string it has to be our string equals char plus our string so we'd have the character first then the rest of the string then it would go through keep adding and at the very end the last thing we could do is return our string and that should work so we do it again, and boom, our test did pass. That's pretty cool. So if we want to do some other test cases, we would just do other words. So indigo, expect that to be like just the opposite. 
G I D N I. <laughs> yeah, look at that reversed. Let's test it there, and it says test passed. So I think this is some pretty good working code. Now I'm gonna give it back to ChatGPT and see if they're satisfied. Here's my code. It says your code looks good and should work for reversing a string. However, there's a small syntax error. The def keyword should be followed by parentheses when defining the function parameters. Wait, did I not? I did. I did add parentheses. I'm just going to tell them I did add parentheses because I don't know what they're talking about. I see your code is in Ruby with, where parentheses are optional in method definitions. No, I actually added. Oh, I think they're saying at the bottom maybe when I'm testing it. I didn't even add that code. Okay. And I have another coding challenge that is similar. Okay, here's another coding challenge that similar in complexity. So our challenge is palindrome checker. So the thing is, you write a function that takes a string as input and returns true if the string is palindrome and false otherwise. And a palindrome is a word, phrase, number, or sequence of characters that reads the same forward and backwards, ignoring spaces, punctuation, and capitalization. Huh. So it reads the same way front and backwards. And it ignores spaces, punctuation, and capitalization. Interesting. So what we'll do is we'll create a new file and I'll call it palindrome.rb. I think that's how you spell it. So they have a few different examples. This one is a palindrome, this one is not. Let's make a function called is palindrome. And we'll pass in a word. I guess it's supposed to be like a phrase or something. So we'll just pass in a string. And then we can test it right here. It's equal to true. And we'll put test passed. And in the other case, race a car. This is supposed to be false. All right, let's check. So right now we're just going to not return anything, which means both of them should fail. So if I run this test, or if I run this Ruby file by running the file name, we automatically get, oh, did you mean, because I had a question mark. So yeah, I used the wrong function name. I did mean to add that question mark. If I run it again, we just get nothing because we never had an else case. So like an else would have said, you know, if we had the else and we could put another message just for when it fails. So we can see when it's failing. Now if you run it, we'd actually see like, okay, two tests failed. Yeah, because we don't have any code yet. So how are we going to determine if it's the same front to back? That is kind of crazy. So first we'd have to do like front string is going to be string. And also you're supposed to get rid of the punctuation and everything. So we almost want to do some sort of G sub to remove non word characters. That might be a good first start. Let's look that up. Let's actually just ask ChatGPT. G sub to remove non word characters. Ruby. So something like this. I'm just going to print this out. I guess it puts it out. Front string. Let's run it again. So we got race a car. It totally got rid of all the punctuation. And the other one, it also did that. We could also do a lowercase 
and then it would totally be oh, undefined method lowercase for an instance of string. Ooh. Interesting. I wonder how you can go lowercase on the characters. Yeah, it's ChatGPT. Make string lowercase. And use down case. Oh, I guess that's what I meant to do. Dot down case. So I run it again. Okay, right, now it's all lowercase. So that's perfect. And we could actually do our check now. So I think what we'd almost want to do is we could just match up string g sub this dot reverse equal just regular. I think that's almost good enough, right? So we down case it, we get rid of all that punctuation, then we reverse it and we check if it's the same as the other one. So if I run it, now both of them we got the test passed. So is it really as simple as that? Let me, let me ask. Here's my code. She said your code is looks good and it should work correctly for checking if a string is a palindrome. Here's a slightly cleaner version for readability. Okay. Oh, I like that. Yeah, so they set it to a variable and then they just check if it's equal to this this at dot reverse. Interesting. And if we wanted to pair it up with the reverse string from before, we could actually add that code in. And we could say like clean string and then pass it into reverse string. So we'd say, is this equal to reverse string? We run it, both of them are passing. So this also works. Yeah, but both challenges together, guys. We got the palindrome one and the reverse string. This is sick. That is kind of what happens sometimes with exorcism, I feel like. That's why I love doing exorcism challenges. But this was fun to ask ChatGPT about some challenges. And, you know, we just got to write some Ruby code today. They could probably give us some crazy, like, Rails apps ideas, too. If we want to go crazy with, like, building the full app and all the features. They could probably come up with some crazy challenges for that. So if you guys want to see that, just let me know down below. Like the video. I'll come back and do more challenges from ChatGPT.